This April, the International Young Physicist Tournament was held in Moscow. It's remarkable that the school division of the Central Committee of the Komsomol extended a helping hand this year to the Knights of Science and Physics Department Moscow State University. They organize a Moscow tournament each year. The Komsomol took upon themselves all burdens of organization, and the problem has received a new solution. The tournament switched its status from the citywide in Moscow to the Soviet national and the international. Oh, please! Right. So, your time's up. Your time's up. It will not pop out. Can I? It didn't jump out. It doesn't want to bones. I can twist it harder. I suggest that the jury solves at least one problem. Again, don't hit too hard. Don't be afraid, nothing will happen. A little bit harder. It's all, it's absent. It's spectacular. The challenge was to build a maximum size pyramid out of a lump sugar. Where should I look? At the camera. The exposure time is one minute. We start the timer. Are you kidding? One minute. Can I blink? You can blink. You cannot smile. What is... Advantage of the tournament? At Olympiads, they test only knowledge and ingenuity. The tournament gives a long time to solve problems. You can use a pile of literature, a pile of everything. How long is a long preparation time? Long time? We had three months ahead of the Moscow tournament. Okay, you receive the problems three months ahead of the tournament, and the whole team is working on these problems. Did I understand correctly? Can you use any literature? Any literature, any help. The main thing is to be able to report to a post. If you have prepared in advance, what kind of competition can there be? As you can see, competition here is very good. It all depends on the level, on the depth. You emphasized this correctly. No problem has a single solution. Each task can be solved in different ways. According to your own model. Here, the research tasks are serious indeed. You can keep solving them for months. How is it in build? How is it in build? Just at school we get together to solve the problems. There are problems, people pick up the problems, no one is in a hurry at first. Anyone chooses problems they like. But all plans can change five times. So are you a school student? Yes, school student. I know that Simferopol is not a school team, but a team of the Junior Academy of Sciences. We decided to get together in our section, the physics section. The Junior Academy of Sciences has a lot of sections. We got together and solved these problems. Obviously, those who had their own ideas, the most productive ones, went to Moscow. As a result, we are here today. Here you have to think not just for a short time, a day or two. Here you need to look at the problem from different angles. Well, a question probably goes to the jury. The jury just sat down. So, do you have such a complex formula? Yes, uh, this is in fact one of the most outstanding achievements of mankind. This is Maxwell's equation. I beg your pardon, but who are you? As a matter of fact, I'm an associate professor at the Moscow State University, one of those who conducts this event, who helps students compete. The man who has invented all this is sitting here. The creator, the father, the mother. The Olympiads are probably similar to a sprint distance, like running a hundred meters. But it seems to me the tournament is closer to orienteering. There is such a sport, orienteering. First, the distance is loud. Second, along the way, a lot of ambiguities and difficulties await. And at the same time, you don't know in advance where you need to run to. Only in the course of your navigation you understand where you go. But yet, you come to the right place. Even the jury don't know. You have a map, you have your brains, you have comrades, the jury stand still. If you are not a hack, and if you do need to sneak out or hide somewhere, I think so, I don't know. 
This is a very good comparison, a very good one. And I believe it is correct. The tournament goes on. But what do we do with teaching natural sciences at school? As a matter of fact, I saw here what physics is. School physics resembles real physics like, well, I don't know, like a fried chicken resembles aircraft. There is something similar, a bird, in theory, it should fly, but it's so fried and lifeless. Who is to blame for this? Who is to blame for this? Partly the school curriculum. But mostly for a very large part, school books. There are too many of them. And the teachers. The very concept of school physics. Which makes everyone equal, everyone the same. Those who need physics, those who don't need it. And when you level everything out, you get something mediocre. It seems to me that the main here in this tournament, maybe it's not even physics. It's intended to make friends with each other. The main thing is physics, of course, but without making friends, nothing is possible. Everything in our schools needs to be wiped out. Everything comes across the fact that the entire school curriculum is designed for average student. Nothing more. We don't look into a physics textbook. Also, the role of the Komsomol in these conditions should change slightly. First of all, look at newspapers. The Komsomolska Pravda and the Moskovsky Komsomolitz, this is not enough. The Moskovsky Komsomolitz has already become obsessed with rock music. Soundtracks all the same. Yes, it's interesting, but this is interesting for a limited number of people. Interesting activities are needed to involve people in such tournaments. In order to involve them in other events, not only into rock music, into everything, into classical music and into the tournament of physicists. It's desirable that the classes have specialization. One class focuses on physics, physics and mathematics, another class on humanities, when the atmosphere is similar to a university, when there is an exchange of information between physicists and lyricists, which has brought fruitful results. Nowadays, we seldom have enough humanity subjects. We cannot argue, we cannot speak, we cannot explain something like our feelings, ideas, and then another thing about the Komsomol. I just observed a very terrible phenomenon. Four graders. They want to do something, they are ready to compete, they are ready to do something. Seven graders. They already have such tendencies. They say, why do we need this? And 10th graders, they don't want anything. Here we are missing 4th graders when they say, educate us. The guys, in principle, all of them, when they come to school, are idealists in some way. And when our school, the school education simply crushes them. From my own experience, I was convinced that it oppresses all idealistic school children, good school children. We need them. We are those people who already have convictions. We know that we need to reach out to these junior school children. Let's include physics tournament, chemistry tournaments in the agenda of the Komsomol work. Now the school is focused on paper recycling, on collecting scrap metal, and more often than not it even goes to the wrong place. And at school social work is separated from academic work. Studying is one thing, social work is another thing. We must put these activities together, after all we are learning. We must show ourselves in our studies and in social work. At regional Olympiads everything is interesting. And at school problems are given in the school problem book. They have only one solution. But it's not interesting to find only one solution. We need to think and they prevent this.